Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we get into a little bit of a discussion about some of the movies and this is a very dated conversation because as I'm recording this intro, actually I will be going to see the last of the trilogy of the newest trilogy this Friday, <laughs> December 20th. So it's interesting to hear, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. We're getting closer and closer to that final companion, so just uh, hang in there and we'll be there in a moment. Okay, I have to find mission. Hmm. There wasn't anything off to my left, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's try this one. Oh yeah, what's up, buddy? What's up? Got something on your mind, do you? Hmm. Ooh, can you make a healing kit for me? I suppose I could whip up something, a little few herbs and such. You do know that the best alternative is not to get hurt. Yes. Right? Well, not to say that you go leaping into the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I love him. He's awesome. Got something on your mind? Dude? I do. Yeah, we have stowaway. Stop. Ah! Right. I can barely hear myself think. <laughs> Got something on your mind, do you? Um. Is he like Giska? I have no idea what you're talking about, Rambo. What are you saying? <laughs> You can romance Bastula, which to me is a little weird, because you're already, like, connected. And I'm stuck with Karth, who I sort of like, but I wanted to romance Bastula as a woman, so I'm, I'm feeling cheated. I'm feeling cheated. Where is mission hiding? Mission's not in the engine room. She's not in the swoop hangar. She's not in the crew quarters. I was in there as the exit ramp. Cargo hold, crew quarters. Oh, did I go? Did I go all the way? Yeah, no, this is the way I went. And then. Shoom, did I go this way? I did! Okay, there's the crew quarters on the other side. I'll go check out the crew quarters on the other side. We don't have enough background froggies. Can we get more? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Mission, there you are. You look terrifying. Hey there. What can I do for you? Um, you know anything about the planet we're on? Well, I know Zalbar's from Kashik, but he never liked to talk about it. He wouldn't even tell me why he left. I don't think the Wookiees like outside. She looks like she has the Starship Enterprise on her face. Is there anything else I can do for you? She she has the Starship Enterprise on her face. All right, I turned it up. Also, we can turn up talking, maybe? I want to talk to you about your brother. Don't tell me you believe Lena's lies. Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. You can't trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Circa Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. Uh, we'll find your brother mission. I just hope he's not in any kind of trouble when we do. I actually don't remember. I know that, like, it sounds like she's just got a major ch case of jealousy and that uh, Lena or whatever actually wasn't the big meanie head that sh Mission thought she was. Right, we ran, that's right, we ran into Lena, an old girlfriend of Mission's brother, Griff. We knew for Mission that it was Griff's idea to leave her behind on Taras when they left. She also mentioned that Griff was working on Tatooine, working on the, the Jerka Corp mines. Understandably, Mission is eager to speak with him. Uh, you could put both headgears on for full effect. I actually prop like I I feel like Sabi and and Rain and Ina are having this huge conversation that I'm missing. You look at me talking. I was like, you're attempting to get 2100 contour recover. Shut. No, this doesn't cover my whole face. She literally literally looks like she has a Starship Enterprise on her face. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's on her eyeballs. Don't, don't give me that. 
Um, oh, but I was going to see. I was gonna bring up the voices. Hey, let's see. Hang on. Hey there. What can I do for you? Um. Security spike. No problem. Just so happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything else you need? Nothing. Okay. Uh, more like the Millennium. I mean, yeah, but it specifically looks like the Starship Enterprise. But yeah, it also uh does kind of look like. Okay. Hey there. What can I do for you? Okay. Okay. Have it your way. That seems uh maybe okay. Uh, the Empire is trying to stop people kissing to give everybody headgear that will injure anyone. Oh my gosh. She's fine, it's her look? I mean, okay. How much money do I have? Inventory. Okay, oh, is that enough credits for me to do what I need to do? I think it is. Uh, where was that guy? Where was that? He was on our that one starting planet. We need to go buy our last companion. Koriban, Tatooine, Manan, Bantuin. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, it's the Jedi Academy. Where do we go? Do we want to go to Tatooine? <gasps> oh, that's right. That's right. It's not okay. That's okay. I was thinking of the other place that got blown up, and that's where uh, we got our first droid. But now we need to go to Tatooine, which is where the other droid is. Have I seen the Star Wars: The Clone Wars TV series? I have not, actually. My housemate likes it a lot. I just listen to Star Wars audiobooks. Sad Jedi music again makes you sad. That's the goal. It's far better than the movies? Well, that's crazy, because I loved the movies. So I would probably really like it then. I think the new movies are really the only reason I uh, like Star Wars at all. Honestly. Rogue One was my jam. Hi, Assassin. How's it going? Ah, uh, good old Tatooine. Rogue One was pretty good. It's my jam, Stone Smith. It's my jam. I, that movie made me cry, and it was so good. Look at my beat up old little ship. I love it. Oh no, I guess like the prequels, yeah. The prequels, Anakin's a dick. <laughs> I did, I did see that in the, um, in the, in the Clone Wars, that he's fleshed out more as a character. So yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, the prequels were good. Like, they were okay, right? But, like, they, yeah, they had their issues, for sure. But, yes. I've been wanting to, but now I just feel like I never have the time. Okay. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> um. Ooh, look, his background's gray. Hers is blue, blue, gray, blue, red. Three is the best movie, if you ask me. Rogue One's also the best. 
<laughs> right? You can objectively see that the prequels are terrible. You still love them. Yeah. You don't hate any of them. You like them all for different reasons. Yeah, you know what? I, I agree. Like, I feel like the prequels were this... They had these, like, big old grand ideas. They just couldn't quite get across. Ashoka. Ah Ahsoka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My housemates like her a lot. No, I'm definitely, uh... I definitely want to see it. Like, really bad. I just keep not making the time for it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, who do I want to bring? Maybe I'll bring her. Sure. Uh, wait, Rebels, is, is Rebels different from Clone Wars? What? 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 Karth? Nobody asked you! Beats. Um... He's mostly a blaster dude. Whoa, this feat lowers defense by minus five? Yikes. Oh well. Yeah, let's do it. Because uh, then I think we can get the... We'll get the vitality thing. Oh, no, no, no. The saving throws. Yes. And the attribute. Nice! Problem is, the prequels is that Luke was trying to be a businessman. He saw the making of the Phantom Menace, and you can see how Lucas was creating characters like Jar Jar for marketing. Hi, kitty! Oh, Tobias! Tobias the Swede, who is from Sweden, and I will never forget that ever. Welcome! You love Clone Wars and Rebels, for sure? I, yeah, I've not seen any of them. I, I really should. The Clone Wars is kind of strange. Mostly made for children to get them to Star Wars. Um, uh, you better not. <laughs> You've heard rumors of Dry Jar's characters, and the more you think about it, the more it makes sense with the films. Uh, like that he's a marketing character, or... Rebels is kind of strange. I'll have to see. I'll have to watch. I'll have to watch them. Uh, I strength adds modifiers to melee damage and the chance to hit, which is not what he does. He uses these daily wops, which that doesn't change his modifier number. This does, however. Yeah, let's go with that. Give us a plus one modifier. Skills, uh, awareness. I don't know. I don't really know what the point is to having his awareness up. Uh, with the rival where Jar Jar is a sin. Someone made an accurate prediction that Jar Jar was far more than what he appeared to be, but no one noticed because he carefully put it in the background of what was really going on. Oh, well, I, I thought Jar Jar was kind of supposed to be the comedic, uh, like, comedic sidekick, you know? Comedic relief. Which is a necessary character to have. I don't know, I don't remember ever hating him. I remember one of my sisters going through a phase, though, of talking like Jar Jar, and we all went mad. Like, our entire family went insane. It was so annoying. So annoying! He was a character made up by Lucas's kid? That's kind of cute, though. That's cute. Bastion in Overwatch was um, sort of designed by Jeff Kaplan's daughter. I think those things are kind of fun. He doesn't get to be persuasive. Oh, that's right. None of, the, none of the extra characters get to be persuasive. Okay. I don't know if there's any point in me doing this legitimately. I'm gonna... 
Bleh. Sure. Feet, and it will raise his vitality. Oh crap, that's right. Okay, add feet. Okay, set. All right. Now we do. I'm gonna sneeze. Woo! Muted the mic. Awesome. I'm really good. You play Bastion, you like people being salty about it? <laughs> Thank you, Stonesmith. Bless me indeed. Uh, Bastion, I have a friend who's actually a really good Bastion, and I enjoy it when he plays because we just have a really good time. Awareness and stealth. Nope. You can have it and treat injury. Feet. Shoo, what's this? Triples the critical threat range of melee attacks. If the attack hits, the target's also stunned. Yes, have that. Have it. Power! Okay, what does she have? Ooh. Affliction. Do I want to give her more dark side powers, though? She can't. I can't level that up yet. Power activate the Jedi is temporarily granted a plus four bonus to defense and all saving throws. That's fascinating. Increases the physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by two points. Power offers some direct protection from force attacks. Let the hate flow through my party. So my friend carries- No! The thing about Bastion is unless somebody's helping Bastion, Bastion's probably not gonna succeed. So we have a three stack, one of us plays Orisa, and the I play Ana, and then he plays Bastion. And we only play it in quick play. Rarely we pull it out in competitive, and it does actually work more often than not, but... Bum, bam, bam. Huge spoiler, don't read this. Okay. I, I'm not reading it. I didn't read it. Whatever it was, I didn't read it. Uh, Rain, do you have a preference on any of these? For, um, what's her name? What did I click on? That, oh, I get, I get two. Okay. Did I act? Yeah, okay. No, um... I feel like this would be a good one to have. You usually upgrade instead of... I guess that makes sense, right? Instead of, like, wasting time on ones you already have. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This is nice. Yes. I'll take that one. Thank you very much. I like it. What does this one do? Force Whirlwind... You know what, though? For real. Yeah, no, no, no. I didn't read it. Whatever it is, I didn't read it. Did I pick? Did I pick? Oh, shoot. Which one did I pick? Was it that one? Or no. I did pick. Okay, I did. What does this do eventually? Uh. Oh, that's cool. Nope. Okay. Add power. Uh, this this one. Okay. Exit. Level up. Skills. Awareness. And st oh, no, okay. We'll put it in stealth. Powers. I'll give her... Ooh, that's cool. Player causes a loss of seven points, and the target is slowed for the duration. We don't fight a terrible lot of droids, but... Um... Stasis is cool. Yeah, we'll do it. Level up. More power. Awareness. Treat injury. 
Power. Hmm. The music's all gone. Sure, we'll do that one. Yeah, buddy. Did I finish all the speed ra speeder races? No. I avoid those rigorously. What? 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 Let's see if I vaguely remember. Oh, wait, let's see. Well, we hear things are not very well out in the outpost on Kashyyyk. Lemon Zoo would have a heart attack if she saw this. Yeah, this is a little bit terrifying. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. Um... I have a bunch of... Don't I have like two... Holy cow, look at all these things I have. I thought I had... Like a couple different bow casters that I picked up. Item value one, nice. There's a swoop bike gang called Cooper Swoopers. Uh, what's racist? Is it living being the fact that it's scary? Something can be scary. <laughs> uh, normally, do 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 vibrate sword. That's a cool sword. I don't know what to sell. I'll sell a blaster pistol or two. And I'll sell uh, the one heavy combat suit. And um, one of those. Do I have enough money? Uh, do, do I have enough money yet? <laughs> what do you mean sell less useful items? Like what? Can you share some info about my wiki tabletop character? Okay. Um, she's, uh, three meters tall, black with, uh, black fur with gold eyes. She's, like, 120. She was, uh, it's a secret from everybody else, but, um, but she... Oh, boy. I don't know. Wow. That's something we should probably keep. Uh, she was a uh, she was captured uh, at one point because uh, our our campaign takes place five pl five years after um, the New Republic has started, and oh, we'll sell one of those. Oh, crap. The guy only has, uh, 250 credits? Okay. I'll sell one of those. And, um, she was- she wasn't used for slave labor. She was used as an experiment in a science facility and eventually, uh, is turned into basically a cyborg. So, because one of the, I, I'm, I chose her to be a barbarian, and I'm choosing her to be, um, like a cyborg barbarian. Oh, wow. You can sell one of those. Um, oh, there they are. Dang it. Okay. I'll sell some more when I get to that other guy's place. A Sith Wookiee? Uh, <laughs> Sounds to me! Oh my gosh! No! Hang on, let me 
me see here. What your boy got? What your boy got? Mm, sure. Strength got... No, no, no. He's a dexterity-based character. Sure, she can have the strength gauntlet. Ooh, she's got the lightsaber already. She has... The robe she's got on is good. And she can't wear any of those. Oh, but let's... Let's see... Can you... Oh, oops. Sure. Uh... Oh, sh that's actually really good. We'll do that one. <laughs> but, uh, no. So she eventually gets out of that experiment facility. Basically, I think the rebels freed that facility. So she wasn't even, like, able to, like, free herself, sort of. So it's always been kind of weird for her. And like, the facility was destroyed and she was never able to, like, get... Wow, he looks really, really, really... Like, he's trying really hard to be scary. But he's not actually <laughs> super scary. Um, what? But, yeah. And so she basically has been working as, like, a mercenary bounty hunter since then. She tried to go back home, but she's always, ever since her modifications, she's always felt very weird. Because I feel like the Wookiees are very, they're very, like, natural. Like, they don't necessarily get, like, cybernetic enhancements. Um, so she's always felt, even though, like, her, her, her people welcomed her back, like, she always felt like a bit of an outsider after that because she's had all these experiments and, like, cybernetic implants. So, so yeah, so she ended up leaving after a while and is out, like, basically doing bounty hunter work, but it's gonna be really cool. I'm really excited to play her and her story and get her figured out. Because, like, eventually she's gonna come to terms with, like, her cybernetic implants. Like, or at least learn to accept that as a warrior she needs to take every advantage she can. And, like, like recently one of our companions actually died. And so if she had used her cybernetic implants, even though she can't, she's level one, right? But it's story stuff. So if she had used those implants, she would have been able to save her companion, maybe. So, it's interesting stuff. Saved? Okay. V Court, hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Hola. Save, thank you. I will save. Mm, last companion? Question mark? You can't have this game turn to uh, 1920, 1080, get it on Steam, and you're able to have it like that. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I can only have it on 1080, or, um, 600 by 800. This isn't the place where the guy is, right? That we want? Okay, what do you have available for purchase? Nope, it's not this guy. But I will sell a couple things to him. Yeah, let's see if I have any useless mines or anything. No, 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 no. Oh, but I will get rid of one of those. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <gasps> Wait, why? Why is it telling me that? That it won't sell for... <laughs> is it telling me I'm only going to get 250 from it if I sell it? You wanna play a hut? Eat 16 meals a day? That sounds, that sounds dope. That sounds dope. Well, yeah, I get that it's worth more than 250, but if I sell it, will I only get 250 for it? That seems weird. Why, does the guy have like a limited inventory?
It don't make much sense. Uh, it's okay, I guess I'll just do... Sure. Now we have enough. Hello, official. How's it going, everybody? There's lots of people here today. Mishes, I know. I, we've. She's not even using it anymore. I gave her better stuff. She'll like. She's. She's fine. She's. She's fine. She's gonna get better things. Is it? Where's the guy? Where's the? Where's the guy? Swoop registration, Zerka office, a hunting lodge, droid shop. Okay. I need to go east. Too bad I don't have a compass that tells me where I'm going. Nope. I'm confused. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I know, bad, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. This is so cool, I do wish, man, people are like, people are like, when are we getting a remastered Mass Effect? I'm like, Mass Effect looks great, stop bragging on Mass Effect. When are we getting a remastered Star Wars? Riddle me that, riddle me that. Yeah, but the minivan doesn't have a compass on it, and it's like, I don't know, weird about things. I don't know. I, I thought I was going, like, the correct way at one point, and then it was like, no, you're not! And I was like, oh, okay. Like, when I- it looked different from here than it did in the- the map that I pull up. And once more, I'm gonna leave you all in suspense as to whether or not I actually am able to buy the new, uh, companion that we're gonna get. But, you know, spoilers, we do. But thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.